I'm planning to do some magnet fishing next week. I'm going to be going into upstate New York and I think there's some opportunities. This is a 350 pound forest magnet. You might have seen it earlier. I'm going to do a couple things this summer involving it. Whoa! Now you can see how aggressive it is. What strength should you use? For a 350 pound magnet, I guess you use 350 pound cord. The problem with that is there's not a lot of that around unless you're talking about climbing cord or things. Um, and quite frankly, if I'm pulling something that weighs 350 pounds out of the water, I'm not sure I want to do that. <laughs> it's probably a, something I probably don't want to find. I'm a little concerned about how thin this is, even though it is paracord. It says 550, you know, the way, the way I always thought paracord was 550 would be good for 550 pounds, but the working load on this uh, here is 110. There's a little bit of a fudge factor, I'm sure, that's built in there. I want to use something bright so if for some reason the cord breaks, I can dive down and find it. I'm not going to go into any place where I probably can't retrieve the magnet if it goes crazy. Here's some nautical line, utility line, and this is good for 175 pounds. And it's a little thicker. Okay, I've got this nice little, uh, this came with part of the magnet, so they've already sealed it up good, so I'm not too concerned about that. I do want to protect this face a little bit. And that's what I'm going to use the duct tape for. I'm using red duct tape, so if for some reason the cord breaks off, I dive down, I'll be able to find it. I'm going to run the cord through here. I'm not going to seal it off. I'm going to because I'm going to be doing fresh water. If I was doing salt water, I might be a little more concerned. But I'm doing fresh water, and the water's fairly clean, so I might even actually um, drill some holes in here. And the whole idea of this is just to protect it from hanging up or snagging on here because I think if you put it down like that it's going to be much harder to snag. It's just going to kind of flow. I've decided to use the 5 16th inch 50 foot cord. I'm thinking most of the places where I might do my initial magnet fishing will probably be 10 feet or less in depth. Maybe 15 and some waterfalls or something like that. Uh, so this should 50 feet should do me well. But this is really kind of solid line. It'll be easy to find if for some reason it gets snagged on the bottom. We'll just follow this blue cord down. And so I'm going to go with this. What I've done here, because this is almost a three inch diameter, I had to find something that was big enough. I, you know, I cut it up, cut a gap of a plastic about this much. Cut it out initially, and then there was this much of a lip on it. I took a black marker and I just kind of cut it around. And then I used the scissors and trimmed it off so it would be flush. 5 16th drill bit. Drill the hole. Finish it off a little bit. I've run the cord through the bottle top, through the cone. Now it's just a matter of tying it off. I'm going to use a bowline. This is fairly good nautical cord. It's probably going to be fine, but I'm just not going to take any chances. Here we go with the bowline knot, the rabbit goes out of the hole, around the tree, back in the hole. Dress the knot. There you go, that's pretty solid. It's feeling pretty good. A little bit of a tail on there. Bring it down through here. All right, so I got a problem. I'm gonna have to tighten it up. Or yeah, maybe not. No. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, well, I think that's pretty good, actually. But I'm going to leave a window so I can check that knot and make sure it's completely okay. Check to make sure that it's flush. I'm using two inch duct tape because that's what I have. But this is almost three inches on the magnet face. So I'm going to go right down the middle and then clean up on either side. Keep it flush. I'm not too worried about how it looks. This is more functional. So, so this, this is to protect it. Still sucks in everything that needs to be done. It just protects the magnet face a little bit. I just did a crisscross pattern. I'm getting pretty close to fixing the whole thing. Just a little bit here, a little bit here and here. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a strip and run around 
be in here, make it look a little cleaner, and then that will seal in these couple areas here. There you go, 50 foot cord. Probably use no more than a foot, more like six inches to tie the bowline knot. And that's not going anywhere. I've protected the bottom face. Is it beautiful? No, it's more functional. This is functional engineering you're seeing here. But I think that will protect it. It should not hang up on anything, but the proof is in the magnet fishing and we'll be doing that so stay tuned. Will it be successful? Who knows? Thumbs up and comments always appreciated.